Last week was my mom's birthday, and one of the things that she wanted to do for her birthday was go to her favorite store, Kirkland's. So in today's video, I'm going to take you to Kirkland's to see what they have right now, and I am going to make over a piece that was inspired by one that I saw at Kirkland's while we went shopping. Hey there, my name is Yami. I am your Latina next door. Welcome back to Mi Casa, where I share high-end home decor and DIYs on a budget, as well as extreme before and after room transformations. If that's something you enjoy, please make sure to hit like and subscribe so that you too can become part of the familia. So as I mentioned earlier, this is gonna be a shop with me video, but it's also gonna have a furniture flip. I found this piece of furniture for only $20 on a Facebook marketplace. And it's a solid piece of furniture. It had great bones. The only issue it really had was that the doors didn't quite fit on it properly. So I thought for $20, this was a perfect piece to add to my other side of the dining room. And while I was at Kirkland's, I actually found a piece that I really, really liked. It was something totally different from what I have in my house. And I thought I would give it a try with this Facebook Marketplace find. So I hope you enjoy coming along and then transforming this piece of furniture with me together. So upon entering the store, this dinnerware set immediately caught my eye. You all know I'm a sucker for blue and white and florals are just so beautiful to me. However, at $6.99 a piece, it was a little too expensive for me. And this was the fourth store, if I remember correctly, we had been to that day. So of course my kids took advantage of the seating. I was really enjoying the warmer tones that they had throughout the store and all of this textured wood. It wasn't smooth painted surfaces. There's a lot of texture and different angles and strokes. And they had a ton of these decorative spears everywhere. Now at $60, I did think these arrangements were a little pricey. And this piece of furniture was really beautiful. I like how it was nice and textured and it had the two-toned and it was $400. And apparently my mom has been seeing too many of my videos because I walked up to this lantern and for $70, she says, you can make one like this. <laughs> They had a lot of beautiful cushions. However, they were priced at $34.99 a piece. They also had a lot of beautiful napkins and table linens, like runners and placemats throughout the store. And I absolutely loved this lamp that I saw. I love the texture of it and of course the light colors and I'm hoping that perhaps one day I can do something inspired by it. Their selection of baskets was really beautiful and they had a lot of really large ones. However, they were pricey and this one right here you will see it was $99.99. Oh look, more spheres. This time they were blue and white. They also had some nice Easter decor. I'm not really a fan of going all out for each and every season. It does get kind of pricey, but I did like these light up little eggs. They had a really nice simple pattern to them and they were only $9.99. And these larger ones right here were $16.99. They also had some beautiful artwork throughout the store as usual. I love this tall coastal one as well as the flowers. And my mom actually took home this pretty print right here. I have been really into more of these floral paintings. And... There was another really beautiful one right behind my mom's print. And then my oldest daughter pointed this one out for me. 
and here are some more of their artwork and here are some more of their art pieces Okay, and I am a sucker for dinnerware, and I love wicker, but wow, these were $8 a glass. Holy moly. If you break one of these, you're going to be crying, or let's just say if your kids break one of these, you're going to be crying. This one is $10 a glass. Holy cow. These were a little bit pricey for me. I did appreciate the fact that they had this dinnerware available in many different colors. And of course, the furniture is beautiful as always. I am loving this light wood with this gray. And I actually just bought a chair that looks just like this, except for the colors, at Goodwill for only $5. And guess what I came across? The mirror that I just duped. And this piece of furniture kind of reminded me of the bench that I covered for my son's bedroom. The pattern of the fabric looks very similar. And I came across the statue of this horse and oh my goodness I love it I've been wanting a statue of a horse for the longest time and I haven't found the right one of course I wasn't ready to purchase this one yet <laughs> they had beautiful floor lamps and this one was $140. Almost as much as this table, which was $150. And I came across this gorgeous linen tufted office chair. <laughs> and it was $400. It was funny, somebody mentioned in my last look for last video that Kirkland's wasn't a high-end store. Now, it may not have started off that way. However, as you can see, the prices are getting a little bit higher each time I go. So, these are definitely worth recreating if you can save a little bit of money. This. So, we have this, and it opens up like magic. Like magic? That's pretty cool. And then you just flip it back whenever you want when you're done eating lunch. Or you can use this. You can use that for drinks. You can use this for like lunch. You can like use this for anything. And that was my daughter with her sales pitch for that little table. <laughs> Oh look, more spheres. This was another really pretty, unique piece of furniture. I just love the texture of it. And this one was going for $4.99. Now, if you guessed that this was the 
piece that inspired me with my piece, you guessed right. As you can see, this is a very red piece and it was used as an entertainment center by the previous owner. It had these little seahorse knobs, but I really wasn't fond of them. I love the glass and I love the X pattern in the front. And as you can see, it had some wear from usage over time. So I was excited to get started on this. The first thing we did was remove the inner shelves because I needed to paint the inside as well. And they were actually screwed on, which we thought was kind of weird. But <laughs> once we removed them, everything went a little bit smoother. For this, I decided to use a DIY paint in the color letter press gray, which is a beautiful gray color. And since this table had a little bit of wear, I wasn't focused on making this a very smooth piece. And taking from all the texture that I saw in Kirkland's furniture pieces, I wanted everything to kind of have different strokes in all kinds of different directions. So I used my chalk brush and began to just lay the paint down all over as you see the way I'm doing. As you know, I sell DIY paint on my website, thelatinanextdoor.com, and I will have a link to my online store in the description box below. Now you can lay this paint pretty thick or you can thin it out, and I did at times thin it out in some areas with a spray bottle. But as you can see right here, I'm just trying to get the very first coat down. Now for DIY paint, in most cases you don't need to do anything to your surface in preparation except just make sure that your surface is clean, which I did go all over this piece and wipe it down thoroughly. DIY paint is a non-toxic clay-based paint that's pretty pigmented and it dries with a chalky finish. And as you can see right here, it will dry a lot lighter than the color that you see when you apply it. Now because this was such a bright red piece and I wanted to make sure I covered all of the red, I did give this piece three coats. Now for the doors, I wanted them to be a little bit darker, just like my inspiration piece. So I actually had some sample paint from a DIY paint. However, you can achieve this same color by lightening up some of Little Black Dress with letter press gray and it will be just perfect. And I was applying it on the inside of the doors first and then I was applying it on the outside and for the X's, I just use a small artist brush. And if I got anything on the glass, I would just come back with a razor and scrape it right off. When everything was dry, I gave the actual piece, not the doors, but just the piece, a light sanding with a 220 grit sanding block. And then what I did was I came back and I wanted to accent the edges. Instead of distressing this piece, I found out that I couldn't because the red was so thick underneath that every time I tried to sand it down, all you would see was red. So instead, I took some of the darker color from the doors and just took a small artist brush and began brushing it on all of the edges where it would naturally wear or if I would sand, this is the areas where I would sand. So I just began going around dry brushing using the side of my brush to accent all of the little edges throughout the entire piece of furniture.
And then once everything was dry, I added the clear wax. And just in the same fashion as I was applying the paint, I just applied the wax all over to seal it. Now this is the clear wax. And honestly, this is the only wax that I've used for the longest time. Now what you do is you apply it all over generously and it will look splotchy in some areas. This is totally normal. And what you do is you let it sit overnight and the following day you come back in with a lint free cloth and you buff everything out and it will give you the smoothest sheen. Now I forgot to mention that I did add the doors back on. Nelson helped me install the doors back. It was a little bit of trouble because they just did not want to align, but we got them as close as we could so that the knobs would kind of align back together, if you will. And as you can see, as you apply the clear wax, it does bring out more depth out of that color. It brings it back to life. Now I have been asked before, why is it necessary to apply wax? Well, this clay-based paint does reactivate when you apply water to it. So you can definitely get it to come off easily if you do not add a sealant to it and protect it. Now you can do this with this wax. There are other different products available as well, like Big Top, which is, I guess, DIY paints, closest version to a polycrylic if you're familiar with that product and you would use big top if you want a little bit of a glossier finish and also a harder finish if you're going to use your surfaces or they're going to sustain more wear and tear but for this piece wax will do just fine now as you can see here i am buffing the piece this is the very next day and I'm just going around all of the painted areas and trying to get the nice buff on the surface. Once I was done waxing everything, I removed the painter's tape. And as far as the knobs, I had these two knobs that I had taken away from another table that we dismantled and I kept the knobs because they were in decent condition. And I had this hammered spray paint on hand and I decided to go ahead and use it. I just honestly didn't want to spend any money on any new hardware and wanted to just use what I had. And I thought adding this coppery hammered texture to the doorknobs would be kind of nice and give the piece another little element. Now after I put these knobs back on, all I needed to do was fill it up with some of the things that I needed to store and add a few finishing touches and it would be complete.
Well, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. It was really nice to get to go out with my mom and my kids and just stroll through Kirkland's and see what new things they had. They definitely have a lot of really beautiful things in the store for this new season. And it's one of those stores where you could just get lost for hours because there's something in every corner. It was nice to spend time with my mom and it was also really nice to get some inspiration from that store and apply it to something that I already had at home. Thank you so much for being here this week. I will see you back here next week with another video. In the meantime, I have more videos right here that you might enjoy. Until then, adios.